Well, hey folks, Species7 here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today as we jump back into Foundry. Now, of course, I am playing the Experimental Branch 043. And, uh, oh my. It does save a lot, doesn't it? So let's trim the fat. Now what I usually do is take it down so I've got my current save and whatever the previous autosave was. That way, if I click that and something goes amiss, we're not totally stuck, right? So, okay, here we are, our factory. We are currently researching Drone Miner 2 and we're almost done. Now, about the other things that we need to mine, um, we name you Ignium. Yes, indeed, the Ignium we need to mine. If we, uh... What? Oh, I've just changed these. I don't know what I was thinking. Sorry. The, um, this unit, a geological scanner. Now, if we take that guy and, uh, put him onto an appropriate hotbar here. Oh, I do have him on a hotbar. Never mind. And then we look to see, well, it seems, um, as far as Ignium goes, let's just put it down there. Okay. Start scan. Yeah, um, there are layers, apparently, of um, Ignium under pretty much the entire planet. So you just sort of needed this thing to tell you that there's also layers of Xenoferrite further down and way below that is Technum. Now, there is a difference. You'll notice these say rock, not ore. More of that on a minute, kids. Yeah, that's because... And here's where I've been kind of busy. If we go down through all the dirt, all the rock, all the limestone, we come out here. And what we've got going on here is Ignium rock. The difference being between rock and ore Rock, you can do that, break it in one drill move. So, yeah, it's not, uh, and you'll get one piece of Ignium ore out of each rock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And yeah, there's not a lot of light. But this is, um, as you can see, we are down to the Ignium now. So we can start steel production. But what we kind of want to do here is, one, put in an elevator. Now, preferably a freight elevator. And I'm not sure how big these are. So, I think, I think, that we might have some. I'd be wrong. <laughs> uh, can I build some? I can build an elevator. Oh, oh no, 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 stop. Uh, don't, don't do that. I want to build one elevator. Thank you. And where is the other, the freight elevator? Let's build one of those as well. Now, there's not a whole lot, in all honesty, a whole lot of information about um, what you can't or can't do when it comes to the deep mining because apparently the only things I can find on it were done many moons ago so oh, it's bloody dark everywhere isn't it? 
Yeah. It is. I don't like that. So let's go down here and mess around. <laughs> At least if it's going to be dark, we can go, well, it's because we're standing in a hole. All right, here we are. Now, did you make for me the things we needed to make? You're still making them. Oh, wow. Oh, I see. It's got a bunch of coils and stuff to make, eh? Okay, well, well. I'll let it carry on with that. Ah, oh, research, none. Well, we are going to go up then. And... We are going... We... 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 What are you? Ah, you're... You are my induction smelter. Okay. So, research. Interface. What have we got? We've got assembler 2s, conveyor 3s, filtered loaders, igneum fuel rods. Hmm. Freight elevator 2. Explosives. Explosive charge and explosive detonator. Really? Throwable explosives that can be detonated remotely. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun, but it doesn't exactly... Okay, sound like something I need offhand. Character crafting time. That would probably be, you know, not too shabby. So let's do that. <clears throat> now, this guy to produce steel is going to need xenoferrite and igneum. Now, that's what we're going to have it do. I'm going to download a ton of igneum into it. Now, the xenoferrite didn't really want to do this in the dark, which we got here, and sort of there. Yeah. Uh, I need conveyor belts. Alright, somewhere, there should be more conveyor belts than we can shake a stick at. Um, Conveyor belts. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Lots of conveyor belts. Let's get back to uh, what we're doing. I'm stuck. Uh, too many conveyor belts, I tell you what. Alright. So, let's go back to our master smelter here. Let's, uh not be so cheap with these, shall we? Let's throw a couple down. Um, boom. There we go. Alright. That definitely is going to help. Alright, let's get some belts attached, shall we? Now, we're going to need an up ramp. We don't have any ramps. So, let's make sure we actually do. Alright, and I'm going to take, I guess, the inside belt. <coughs> Lovely. And let's go to our conveyors. Boom. No.
No, it's not going to work. I messed that up. Mo. Oh. Yeah, we got to uh, take that guy away. Come back out of that mode, and boom. Now we should get a curve. Perfect. Now, let's, hmm, well that's okay, huh? Now we need a loader. Probably right way around. Boom. Back to our belts. All right. So you should now be making steel ingots. Awesome. Awesome and excellent. I have a pretty good drill speed going on, as you can see. It's a little slower through rock, but it's uh, not bad. And I do apologize about it being so freaking dark. Oh, uh, what can you do? I'm not sure why, but apparently all games have to have a day-night cycle now. It's the law. <laughs> so I do hope everybody's doing absolutely phenomenal today. If you're new to the channel, maybe consider dropping a subscription. Would be much appreciated. And of course, if the content is something you're enjoying, hit the like button. <coughs> It's a pretty easy thing for the amount of good it does. Okay. No, I don't have enough of these either. So. Boom. We'll give them what we got. There we go. Now I think... Ah, uh, we'll just make some more. Maybe that'll be easier. That's all you have, but there's another one of you hiding around here somewhere. And you contain much, much more. There you are. Neat little stash of goodness. You go down there. 200, 400, 600. Okay, we should have lots. So, let's make the floors. There we go. That should get us a good start. Whoa, you guys are really digging holes here, aren't you? Boy, those have gone down a lot. There is a limited amount of all of that. Something to uh, keep in mind. Boom, there we go. All right, now we can output this because it's not steel ingots we want. I think it's the next thing down. So, like the, the, the next one over. Let's uh, do that. And then we're going to want an assembler. 
Um, that's not an assembler, is it? Assemblers. Yeah, it's not. I don't have an assembler. Just logistic containers. Let's build a couple of assemblers. Ah, these are what sort of... In the space I keep my assemblers. There we go, there's one. Boom. Which is kind of what we uh, need in the immediacy. But I like to have a backup. Okay. So there's our assembler. Boom. There we go. Oh, no. Why did I do that? Just as I clicked it, I moved it one square. Darn it. Let's try again. I love that you get everything back in this game. Well, I have none of lives either. I'm just not doing well here today. Um, get me some loaders, please. And build the first one. Boom. There we go. And a reverse of Ouya. Boom. Okay. And belts. Wrong way. Okay. So you, as opposed to an intake, are going to be an output. Alright. And you are going to make steel beans boom there we go all right now let us logisticate those bang Let me get our logistics panel up. Oh man, really? <laughs> okay, fine. Needs one more set, eh? Let's go a couple. That way, if we decide we're going to put in. Uh, I don't know why I did those extra ones, but okay. Um, a light or something will have a, a hot place for it. There we go. Now, we should be able to put in you in a reversed mode. Boom. There we go. Fire our chest in there. Bang. Alright. Now, you are an Audi. You are an Innie. And you should start storing things. Okay, well, we'd probably help if I did this, eh? There we go. Now are you getting things? You're getting things. Ooh, you're getting things quick. All right, we now have steel production. Well, sort of. Um... Oh, well, that's kind of awkward. Ha! <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. We're gonna have to go all the way back to here. And you. See, the problem with that is it was covering the manage inventory bit. Um, yeah. That doesn't work for me, I'm afraid. Boom. All right. Now, we are going to need...
that, 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 and then We still don't have that guy in the right spot. Doing. Okay. Now. Now I can do this. Boom. There we go. No, is it backing up or is it keeping? It's slowly gaining, hey? Eh? So. Not sure if that's going to help, but I think it will. There we go. And you are an Audi. There we go. Okay, it's managing to pretty much go even on there. Okay. So how are you doing now? Oh, you're still getting ahead a little bit, eh? Hmm. All right, let's um head back cave side and see. Now I believe that if you put, I think it's the passenger elevator in, it will dig a hole to the surface. This is what I understand. And then you remove it and put the freight elevator there. I think that's sort of the, the trick of it. You can put the freight elevator in and then just dig down to it because it will project beams. But that's a different animal. All right, freight elevator. High voltage grid. Oh, yeah. There's that. There is that. Um, yeah, we got room for it there. Why not? All right. So I'm going to start with the freight elevator. top and a bottom. Okay. So. And I want this to be the bottom. There we are. Now, and like I said, I, I, I believe if you put the passenger one down, it'll actually dig the hole for you. But our other thing is, wow, it's that far away, eh? Hmm. Maybe I should put it on this side. I had no idea that was so far away. So... Go to Destructo mode, no problemo, and let's put it here instead. Okay. Now, it should be a little a little better positioned. Hopefully it's not under anything. I tried to get everything far enough away. All right, that is definitely a little better. 
grind away the trees. Okay. I say it's a good thing I've actually got my drill upgraded. At least as far as we could for the moment. We're almost finished our next research as well, which is cool. Whoop. <laughs> a little carried away there. didn't say it on this one, but I noticed for the passengers one, it said it required a high voltage um, grid. Now, we don't actually have a high voltage grid because we're running transformers on our grid. The line that I ran down here is a low voltage grid. Or I should say it comes off of a low voltage grid. So that's something we're going to have to figure out. But, there's lots of things we need to figure out. Most of the information on the game, unfortunately, is quite old. Like as far as um, guides and stuff. Yeah. And a lot of things have changed. Have the elevators and stuff changed? I don't know. You know, this is the first time I've ever gone underground in this game. I haven't played it that much at all, to be honest, but it's certainly the first time I've ever uh, done this part of it. And I tried watching Oldman's original series, the one that got me interested in the game. And, yeah, um... You ran into the same issue. There's just no information. You got to kind of guess your way through and, you know, make your mistakes, make up for them. Again, thank goodness that this game uh, doesn't penalize you for building something you shouldn't. You simply delete it and get it all back. So, yeah, that's kind of nice. Now, I just remembered. I might, uh, I might end up having a little issue here, because somewhere just off to the side, and I believe, unfortunately, it was the side I'm digging on, I dug a little cubby hole to stick a couple of chests in, because, uh, well, digging the original staircase down here generated a fair bit, as you can imagine, of rock, limestone, dirt, yeah. Limestone's pretty, isn't it? That's an awesome skin. 
I like that you can just stay in one spot and reach everything you need to reach from here. Ah, I see we have uh, what might be a breakthrough moment over there. Yeah, okay. So the cube we're standing on might be the last one. Here we go. Wee boink. Alright, we missed it. Cool. Where is the... Oh, uh, well, there it is. Yeah, see. Got this cubby here with a couple of crates in it. In fact, let's... Uh, Chummy that one up a bit. We can get this one up a bit. And what shall we top the last one? I guess we'll go another full block of dirt. And what's in this guy? Huh. Biomass. <laughs> yeah. That does not go there. This does. Just as that does not go there. And that does not go there. Alright, well. Okay. And that. Alright, now. Ooh, our crafting speed is done. So, we have the shaft. Alright, I guess what we need to do now how do we put the top on it? Do I have to build two of these? Kind of looks like it, eh? Hmm. Alright then. Well, elevator. Oh, that's the wrong guy. Okay. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Crusher. Okay, so we've got our standard elevator. Where's the... Uh... Oh, there it is. Freight elevator. Boop. Nick me one. Yeah, see it has to get ten machine... a dozen machine parts, and then it's got to make six of the mixed parts, or whatever the heck they are, with the coil and the metal bits. And then you get an elevator. Alrighty, so let's go. All right, that should be an actual elevator now. And we can, oh, we're going to have to bring, hmm, item count is zero, you may change its mode, but you cannot use it, huh, okay, now I'm going to need to put plates down, because we have to have loaders, Again. Oh, I never do. Let's make another five. There we go. So, uh, where is our big boy smelter? It's way over there. So we might as well go to this end. Boom.
Yeah, we'll make two of them. And they are going to be outputs. There we go. There we go. And we'll worry about where the rest of it's got to go in a moment. Oh, I guess we just need the raw ore. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh... No, those aren't powered. Yeah, I was going to say, they're not going to work because they've got no power. So... Here's our nearest. Nearest and dearest. So, let's see here. Lovely. And then we're going to run it over there. Okay. And you don't just use a normal miner either, unfortunately. So... Okay. Now they're powered. Right? Right. Okay. All right. And then this end. Oh, I guess we need the same thing, don't we? We're going to need a low power grid to run the loaders. Okay. Now, the next thing we need hmm. is the actual miney thing. Um, <laughs> which I believe is this, a rail mining depot, a rail miner. And this is where we need the steel beams to come up. All right. So we got to make sure we've got some steel going on. Yes.
end. Okay. Now well, let's head back up. It's still dark out? Why is it always freaking dark out, man? There's no need for that. Just none. Alright, take my stuff, man. There we go. Get it producing more. Let's see it low. There we go. Let's see how we're doing. We've got 240 of them stored up so far, huh? Yeah. Okay, research is done. Let's go pick something new. Apparently we can craft like a crazy bugger now. Uh, what do we want? What is this? Map scan. Ulamate. We don't need Ulamate yet. Yeah, that requires science pack threes, science pack threes, threes, threes. This only requires science pack two. Doors, huh? Interesting. Ignium fuel rods. What do they do? Oh, we need three. Well, let's do this guy. We're almost finished it. So... But there you go. I'm going to call the episode there. Um, it's coming along. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's coming along. Let's... Uh, let's craft some light pools, shall we? There we go. And... Boom. Nice. Alright, that's gonna do it, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hope you enjoyed. Till next time, take care of each other. And ciao for now.